Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to DIY Tuesday. We are really excited to have you here today. I have some really cool things that I want to show you with these DIY projects. These both are from our holiday download. So if you haven't gotten that already, go ahead and go onto our website and go find it. It's under the digital section and it'll be under downloadables. You can just purchase it and then it'll be available in your account. Um, we recommend when you purchase the download to purchase the lookbooks afterwards. They do have all of the stickers that you will need. You can use the stickers that are included in the download, but they're not already separated. You will have to print them out on a sheet of sticker paper and then cut them out from there. So we just recommend buying the lookbook. It makes things a little bit easier and they're a dollar a piece. And if you buy 10 or more, they are 50 cents each. So it does really cut down on class costs and whatnot. Or you could even, if you're doing this as a class, you can invite people to bring their own materials, which also will help you with that cost section again. So we're going to get started. And the first thing that we're going to be making is the room spray from this wonderful down lookbook. I'm sorry. It is the download and the lookbook. So what we're going to do is I have an eight ounce spray bottle here and I am really, this is the easiest recipe ever. So I'm going to take my spray bottle and I'm going to grab my label out of this lookbook. And if you haven't seen these before, they're gorgeous. I'm just going to show you guys a little bit of what those stickers look like. And I'm going to grab the room spray sticker. And I'm just going to pop that right on my bottle. Perfect. Okay. So you can do this before, you can do it after, if it doesn't really matter when the label goes on. And really all you're going to do is you're going to take this, I'm sorry, I have my little burner here for our next project. So I'm going to take a funnel and now we all know how good I am at using funnels. So let's see how this works. And we're just going to fill this most of the way with water. So I'm going to watch it down here. Perfect. See, I did it again every time. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to pour out a little bit of this because I made a mess. So just fill it probably almost all the way full. Make sure you leave a little bit of air because you will need to shake it. Now what you're going to do is you're going to add two drops of On Guard and you're going to add two drops of Wintergreen. Now you can add more depending on how strong you want this scent to be. Um, you can add five, 10, whatever you want to, and you just add it in here. And then all you do is you put this spray top back on and you're just going to shake and then you can spray it and it sm smells amazing. It's really good for anybody who is trying to kind of keep everybody healthy because it does have that bacteria killing in there. So make sure that you're spraying that whenever you can just to avoid the sniffles and all of that super fun stuff that we like to avoid during the holidays. So that's the room spray. It really takes about two seconds. It makes a great gift for somebody. It makes a great gift for your kids. Like I made this for you. Your room smells horrible. Please use it. So <laughs> feel free to check out the digital version as well of this holiday lookbook. That's available as well under, I believe, the digital section. But if you just search lookbook on our website, you'll be able to find it. Now, the lookbook also is not just a super cool sticker book. It actually has a really cool assortment of gift ideas in it. So you have everything from stocking stuffers. You have a little bit more information about the holiday DIY kit. You have a couple of the recipes from the download in this lookbook. And then, you know, you have your stocking stuffers, your oil life favorites, everything that you could need for any oil lover in your life. And you have really just everything. You even have recipes in the back. We actually are going to be doing a recipe in next week's feature DIY Tuesday. I'm sorry. Next week's DIY Tuesday, we'll be doing a recipe that is to die for. And you guys will love it. And it's a great thing to bring to dinner dinner for the holidays or with friends or family. So make sure you're watching for that. So, oh, I forgot to mention on this lookbook, there is a code on the back. Now, if you haven't seen this, it's probably the best thing ever. There's a code for $5 off a purchase of 50. Don't forget that right now using the code holiday joy, I believe you can get 10% off of any order. 
Um, so make sure that you're using that. And yes, so, oh, and we have free shipping over $50. So make sure that you're taking advantage of that. That does end on the 16th. So make sure you're putting your orders in before then. Don't forget also, orders for that are guaranteed for delivery by Christmas are due tomorrow. That will be the last day that we will be guaranteeing the orders will be get to you by Christmas. So make sure that you're placing all of your orders as soon as possible. If you have to go in with somebody, make sure you guys are all getting together your orders and making sure that everybody has everything they need. So we're gonna get it started with the gift candle. Now this is a super cute gift. I, we have a couple of extra stickers in the book, so they're just kind of fun patterns and whatnot, and one of them is handmade for you, so we did put that on the top of this gift candle, and I don't know if you can see that super well, but then we have the gift candle label as well. So I'm going to just go ahead and put those on right away because I put, the reason I put them on right away is because once you put the wax in there, it's going to be really hot and you're not going to want to touch it for 24 hours. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab my gift candle label. Now there are two so that you can make two gift candles with each lookbook. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab that here. And I'm going to place that on my jar. Now these jars are available on our website. I believe they are the two ounce jars. Um, with a plastic lid. I will be including a link to this in the description, so make sure you're watching for that as well. So now that I have my label on here, I have already put together, I've melted my beeswax. Now, if you want to, this is optional and you don't have to, you can add a little bit of coconut oil. Now this will help your candle be a little bit softer and it'll burn a little bit easier, so it's just a recommendation that you use it, but it's not required. So what I've done is I have taken a half cup of beeswax and a, an eighth of a cup of coconut oil, and we've melted it here in this little hot chocolate pot. Now you can use a double boiler, you can use whatever you want to in terms of melting it, just make sure it's really melted and good so that you can pour it in without any problems. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the lid off of this. This is super simple. So we are going to be mixing wild orange and ginger today. Now you don't have to do these two flavors, but I think it smells delicious and it's a really good holiday scent. So I do recommend it for the holidays. Um, so I would do two drops of ginger and three drops of wild orange. So I'm going to do that really quickly here. And you'll want to add it after your oils are all melted. I mean, yeah, your coconut oil and your beeswax are melted so that you get it all the way through the whole candle instead of, you know, sections smelling, which is kind of weird, but it happens in candle making a lot. So we're just going to go ahead and mix that really quickly here. And this is a really convenient tool. If you have one, I recommend using it. Just make sure you clean it out afterwards if you're going to use it for food. Um, which is why we recommend the double boiler because it is a little bit easier to clean afterwards. So just keep that in mind when you're making this. So I'm going to use this funnel again and we're going to see how this goes again. So I'm just going to take my little spatula out of here and I'm just going to pour this wax right through here and it fills up the candle pretty well. And you are going to want space at the top so this is good. And realistically, you're going to want to leave this candle to sit for about 24 hours afterwards. And I have these little wicks that I bought at a local craft store. They're really easy to find. You can go to any craft store and they'll have them. And so what I'm going to do is I'm really just going to stick this right in here. Um, ours, this stays pretty well because it has the little feet in it. If you don't have one that has a little attachment at the bottom where it just sits, you can um, tie the wick to a piece uh, to a pencil or something like that, or like popsicle sticks or whatever, just to make sure it stays in the middle of the candle because once it is cured, you are going to want to trim that wick. We recommend a quarter of an inch to trim it because that'll give you the optimum burning time. So you're really just going to let that sit for the next 24 hours. Don't really move it while it's curing. Um, I don't know why you don't move it while it's curing. I've just heard that from a lot of people when I was looking around and trying to figure out why and just nobody could tell me why. They just said, well, you don't do it. So if you know why you're not supposed to move the candles for the 24 hours, let us know in the comments because I'm really curious. 
And then you can opt to put, you know, one of those stickers on the lid like we did with this one. You could leave it. You could do a two from label. You could put a ribbon around it and make it super cute. But it's a really good gift option for the holidays for anybody who likes essential oils, anybody who hasn't heard of them before and you just want to show them a little taste of what you can do with them. So that is what we have for DIY Tuesday today. Thank you so much for joining us and we will see you on Friday.